please? Nesta Hernandez. <clears throat> I'm 31. 31 years old? Yes, sir. And can you tell us, Jerry, where you were born? United States. Dallas, Texas. And where were you raised? Dallas, Texas. Did you go to school here in the Dallas area? Yes, sir. Okay, did you attend high school here for any time in the Dallas area? Yes, sir. And what high school was that? W.T.Y. High School. Professor, I'm having a little bit of trouble, Jimmy. I want you to speak up. High school, is that correct? No, sir. Okay. Uh, once you got it, once you quit attending high school, could you give the jury an idea of what you've done for the last 15 years or so of your life? Well, uh, I was in prison and working. Now, we're going to cover that. Uh, you actually, and it's not something we're here to hide from. You said you're here to tell this jury you've been to. You've been to the penitentiary on two separate occasions. Is that right? Yes, sir. And uh, in that regard, the uh, Two thousand twelve. Okay. And what did you go to prison for in two thousand twelve? Simple robbery. Okay. And uh, how long were you in prison for? Two years. Okay. Now, after uh, you got out of that, did there come a time when you were convicted of another robbery that involved uh, Selena Bellator? Yes, sir. Okay. So both of you were accused of being a part of a robbery, and subsequently were sentenced to how much time in prison at that time? Uh, uh, eight years. <clears throat> And uh, what year was it that you got out of prison? Two, 2021. And uh, do you remember what month it was? Uh, October. So in October of 2021, you were placed on parole. How much of your eight-year sentence have you served? Uh, almost seven years. And you were on parole for basically another year after that? Yes, sir. Now, once you got out of Yes, sir. Okay. Tell the jury, if you would, from the time that you got released in October of 2021, and even before that, when you weren't in prison, can you tell the jury what kind of work it was that you did? Uh, well, when when I got out, yes. yeah, I was working uh, at a bag and film company. Uh, I was a material handler, and I drove forklifts at that at that warehouse. Okay. And what kind of warehouse was it? What kind of work were they? What was it they were making? Trash bags. We make, we make trash bags. Plastic trash bags? Yes, sir. And you were responsible for funneling materials into machines that would yes, end up fitting those trash bags up, correct? Yes, sir. The, the trains uh, come with the material, and uh, I hook it up and to the other machines, and I, you know, I do that whole little process, uh, making sure the machines get the material they need to make the bags. Okay. <coughs> and, were you, yeah, and were you still working at that job, actually, on the base of this uh, situation, sir? Yes, sir. Were you, in fact, Yes, sir. Yeah, I was supposed to be at work at uh, 8 p.m. Okay, what, were you, what hours were you working there at, uh, during this period of time? 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. <clears throat> I kind of scooted over your early, your early uh, background pretty quick. Let me just ask you this. Uh, what do you have here in the Dallas area for family? Uh, I got three other brothers, uh, a, mo- a mom, uh, my aunt, nieces. Okay, you've got quite an extended family, correct? Yes, sir. And, uh, and your father, where's he now? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know my father. No. Now, Nestor, uh, I want to talk a little bit about it. Could you tell the jury, would you describe for them how you and Selena rekindled your, your uh, romance or your relationship uh, after you were released from prison in October of 21? Uh, <clears throat> well, she uh, texted me on Facebook. Uh, to be honest, I can order uh, she wanted to know where I, stay, uh, where I was living at. She was like, where do you live at? And I was like, for what? Uh, and so uh, about, a, about, like about a month, month and a half, I, I finally, uh, I met up with her. I, t- I told her, I didn't show her where I live, but I, I showed her it was a DMV. I gave her that address. I told her to meet me there. And that's where. Hey, were you, were you interested in rekindling this relationship, or you sound like you were somewhat hesitant once you got released? No, I was, I was hesitant. <clears throat> what was the reason why you were hesitant? Uh, because 
she was she wasn't there when whenever she got out it's, she 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 got out you know what I'm saying she she wrote me a couple times and you know put money a little bit there but and she she disappeared so and so that's what all that you, you guys did is uh, getting back together correct <sighs> yes sir and was that relationship uh, somewhat volatile or was it peaceful and you described as peaceful and loving or you described as patches of peaceful loving and patches of uh, it wasn't a good relationship it, it was a rocky relationship it was Sometime in the uh, <clears throat> early part of 2022, you found out that she was pregnant. Yes, sir. Can you tell the jury what you thought when you found out that uh, she was pregnant? Um, I, I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to have. Uh, I've only been out three three months, and I was still looking for work at that time. I was and I was on house arrest, so. Uh, so you I mean. Explain that for me if you would. You said you were on house arrest. What does that mean? Uh, it means. Uh, I can't come out the house. Yeah. So when you got out of penitentiary, you were placed on parole, put on house arrest, which means that unless you were working, you were not you were not really even allowed to leave your home, correct? No, sir. And then you, uh, when you said no, I mean, is that, was, that, was that a correct statement? Uh, yeah, yeah, like I, I couldn't. You had to wait to get a job before you Yes, sir, I had to wait to get a job to be able to leave the house. Okay. And you subsequently did that and got a job and, and continued to work, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, they they did. Uh, she wouldn't let me go to no appointments. Uh, I would want to go. I'd tell her she she would say yes, and then at, at the last minute she would block her number. And uh, I even drove to her dad's car lot and uh, asked her sister. I was like, "Hey, is she here? She, I was supposed to take her to a, a doctor's appointment." And she was uh, she, she told me, "No, you can call her if you want. She's not here though." And so I told her I couldn't call her because she blocked me. So and she was like, "Well, I don't know about no appointment." So. I mean, did you believe that she was faithful to you during this period of time? Uh, no, sir. I'm sorry? No, sir. She she wasn't. I, I know for a fact she wasn't. And so <clears throat> this relationship continued up until October 2022. <clears throat> Let's talk about the days leading up to uh, her giving birth. Were you, was it, did it stay rocky even up to this point in time when she was about to have a baby? Um, yes, yeah, she... she Yes, yeah, it did, it did. I mean, t uh, if you could, Mr. explain if you the best way you can to try to get this jury to understand exactly what kind of relationship y'all were having. Uh, she, it was just like, like I said, like even on, on the, um, uh, the day before, on the, I was supposed to, uh, when her water broke, I was gonna take her uh, to the hospital. I was like, come on, I'm gonna take you to the hospital. And uh, she was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? And so we came outside, she got a back house, we went to the back, and I got my truck, and then she got in the car, and then I don't know where she's like, hey, uh, I don't want you to take me. And I was like, what? She was like, I don't want you to take me. And I was like, why not? You know what I'm saying? She was like, I just don't. She's like, I don't want you to take me. <clears throat> so we got into an argument. I was, I, I, I had a red polo shirt. I threw the, I threw the shirt at her, and she was sitting inside of her car, and uh, she got a glass cup. She, she stepped out and it started. I was like, watch out. She threw it, hit me right here. <clears throat> she hit me in my arm. And I was like, man, I started telling her, like, man, I was like, I don't, I don't get you. Like, I really don't understand you. Like, there's women out there that would want their dads, their, their baby's dads, to actually be there for the appointments and, and take them to the, to the hospital and, you know what I'm saying, and be there for them, you know what I'm saying? And you don't let me do that. I, don't, I just don't understand you. I don't get you. And I hopped in my truck and uh, I peeled out. I peeled out. I, I took off. I was, I, was, I was mad. I took off. And, uh, and this is uh, the growth, the growth side area, and so I drove. I was driving towards Carrollton, and I got to like about Market Center or Medical Medical Center around that area, and she called me and she was like, "Hey, are you gonna take me or not?" So I was like, "You want me to take you or not?" She's like, "Yeah, I think she's like, hurry up, come come pick me up. I need you to come take me." So I was like, "All right." Yeah, that Thursday. Uh, and, uh, you drink, and you drank? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. <clears throat> and you also were in possession of a firearm? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Tell, explain, if 
talk to the jury about that. Why, why was it that you would have had a firearm knowing that as a convicted felon, you're not supposed to have one? Uh, well, I, I, I'm assuming y'all seen the video where uh, I was getting arrested when I was out there trying to fix my truck. Uh, the windows, my back window was broken. Uh, somebody kept vandalizing my truck. Someone broke the side window and then the back window and then uh, my yeah, tire had it on. You lost me here a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. You're referring to this particular situation or some other situation? It's, it was, it was the, uh, on, on that video okay. uh, where I was getting arrested. Like, somebody kept vandalizing my truck. I don't, I don't know who, who it was, but it was, it was, it cost money. You know? But you, you had been in possession for a firearm for a while leading up to into October, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And how did that tie into <clears throat> this particular firearm? Uh, she wanted me to get rid of the pistol. Uh, uh, we were at Dick. We were in the parking lot at Dickie's. Uh, she wanted a baked potato before I took it to the hospital. She was hungry, and uh, she, uh, I was like, "Hey, are you gonna give him my last name?" And she was like, uh, "I don't know. Maybe I, I still want to give him uh, uh, my dad's last name." And I was like, "Why you want to give me your dad's last name?" I said, "He's supposed to have my last name." And she was like, well, get rid of the pistol. You know what I'm saying? If you get rid of the pistol, I'll do it. And I was like, bet. And she was like, for real? And I was like, yeah, I, I, don't, I really don't need it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I don't need it. And she was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, uh, well, throw it. And I was like, I was like, why throw it when I could just sell it? You know? I was like, I could just get rid of it. And she was like, are you ready? I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, look, watch. And I, I keep the gun and a box of bullets with, with me in, in the truck. And uh, I was like, look, she had, she had a, a, a bag. And so I placed it in the bag. I was like, look, I don't need it. I was like, I, I, placed, it, I placed it in her bag. She got a makeup bag. I was like, look, I don't need it. I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, as soon as I get it sold, I'm going to sell it. And she was like, okay. And after that, I took it to uh, uh, Methodist Hospital. Okay, so at that point in time, when you had the conversation before going to the hospital, uh, the day before the birth, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, it was you. <laughs> Yes, sir. Now, in all honesty, Hester, did you have some questions in your mind as to whether that baby was in fact yours? Uh, I have. I, I asked her uh, earlier for a DNA test. Her parents uh, got upset with me. Um, okay, but leading into that particular day now, uh, you, uh, so you're telling this jury that when you had the conversation with her the day before she gave birth, that as a show of your good faith, you took that act, you took the gun, placed it into her, one of the bags that she was going to take with her into the hospital. Uh, it, it wasn't in the bag that I thought she was going to, she had an overnight bag, and then she had her makeup bag. I placed it in the makeup bag. Okay. Now, did you carry that gun into the hospital that next day, or was it carried into the hospital in her baggage with her? Uh, I, I carried both bags. Okay. Uh, I could, you know what I'm saying, we, we walked in. But I did, I did, I did carry the little bag. She told me to grab the bags, and I grabbed the bags. And did you leave that bag? Was the gun still in that bag when you left the day before she gave birth? Yes, sir. Okay. So the day that you came back into the hospital, where we've seen it on the videotape, you walking into the hospital, you have something in your hand, but that's a, a, a can of beer. Is that correct? Yes, sir. 
What kind of steel was it? Do you recall? Steel reserve. I'm sorry? Steel reserve. Okay. And we've seen the stock screen. It says you didn't really have any alcohol concentration. So you really had not any opportunity to really drink it at that point in time, have you? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so when you, let's talk about it. So you, the, the day before, when you took her to the hospital, you carried the bags in, and one of those bags had what, I mean, you put the gun there, so you knew that that bag was there. And you were doing it to make her happy so y'all could have your name on the birth certificate. Yes, sir. When, how long were you at the hospital the day before this incident occurred? Do you recall? Uh, that same day, like after my son was born? Yeah. Uh, I stayed there till seven or eight, I think. I don't want to say it was 8 p.m. Did you have to work that night? Uh, no, I was off. I was off. That night? Yes, sir. Okay. And so uh, why, why was it that you left the hospital that night? Was there, was there a fight, an argument, or was it just... No, no, I was I was on house arrest, so I had to be. Uh, my parole officer let me stay there till nine nine p.m., so I left an hour early, uh, and so I, so I could be home on time. Okay, so did you go home? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, could you tell the jury what happened the next day? What time? Did you, uh, could you tell the jury what started or what you did that following day? Uh, I woke up. Uh, I woke up. Well, really, my 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 mom woke up, and uh, she was like, "Hey, uh, I'm about to go to work." Uh, I'm finna get a ride, uh, and I was like, why are you finna get a ride? She was like, well, my tire is popped. Uh, I got a nail on my tire. She was like, can you change it? And I was like, yeah, I got it. I'll change it, I'll change it. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna leave my keys right here, and uh, I'm finna go ahead and get a ride. And she was like, uh, are you gonna go to the hospital today? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call Selena in a little bit and see, see you know what I'm saying, if, I'm, uh, if it's cool to go over there. And uh, she was like, okay. <clears throat> and I gave her a hug, and she was telling me, you know, be a good dad, you know, raise him, back, be there, don't don't be like your dad. And, you know, I was like, I won't, you know, I won't. I'm saying, I gave her a hug and a kiss and she went to work. What time, what time of the day was this, Mister? Uh, she, like 7 a.m. Yeah, cause she had to be at work at 8, 8 in the morning, yeah. And what did you, what did you do following that? Uh, well, I, I can't, I went outside. Uh, no, 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 no I, didn't, I didn't go outside. Uh, I walked, I ended up calling Selena, uh, I called Selena and, uh, I text, no, I text Selena, and I was like, hey, uh, should I get a haircut? I want to take pictures. I want to take family pictures. You know, I want to take family pictures of you, me, and my son. Uh, I should cut my hair. And uh, she told me, she, she told me she didn't want me to come. She was like, I don't want you to come. And I was like, why? And, you know, I was like, why don't you want me to come? And she was like, ah, no, I don't want you to come. I don't want you to come. And so I'm like, man. So I called her, and I ended up calling her. But when I called her, she was on the hospital phone. She was on the hospital phone, and uh, we didn't. We really didn't talk because she was talking on the phone. I want to say she was talking to CPS because uh, they're. I guess they were asking her questions about me because uh, she was telling them when I get off parole and stuff. Like he's like, yeah, he got like two months left on parole. Uh, yeah, he got the job and you know stuff like that. So I hung up the call. <clears throat> so I hung up the call, and. Um, I went outside, I was finna go fix my mom's tire. I went, so I went outside and then she called me. So whenever she called me, she was like, hey, what time are you gonna be here? And I was like, man, see, I was like, man, I, I was like, I don't, I'm, I don't got time right now. I was like, well, my mom needs a tire fixed. I was like, I ain't got time to play games with you, I really don't. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, so you're not finna come? And I was like, nah, I was like, I was like, I'm, 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 not, I'm gonna go, but not right now. And then uh, she was like, uh, she was like, uh, she was like, uh, oh, I ended up asking her, and I was like, who? I said, who Who has been over there? And she was like, why? And I said, I'm just asking, who's been over there? And she was like, oh, you think I got somebody over here? Mm -hmm. I said, nah. I said, I don't think, I said, man, I'm talking about your family. I was like, has like your mom or your sisters or like, have you talked to anybody? Has anybody gone? And she was like, oh, man, you think I'm fucking somebody else? And I said, man, I was like, man, look, I, I know you're fucking somebody else. And she's like, how you know that? And I said, because my, my pride, my, my my dick hurts, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, what? And I said, man, I said, my dick, and she's like, she like, I ain't playing with you. And she hung up the call. She hung up the call. Uh, after that, uh, I, was, I was about to fix the, I was about to fix the tire. She texts me, and she was like, hey, are you gonna sign the birth certificate? And I was like, of course. I texted her back, I was like, of course. And so I was like, okay, I'm about to, I'm about to go, I'm about to head to the hospital. 
So now I'm finna head to the hospital. Uh, I go inside, I, I put my, mom, my mom's uh, car keys up, I put them up, and uh, I lock the apartment, I walk out, I hop in my truck, and I start driving towards the hospital. Uh, I start driving towards the hospital. Uh, I can't find it. I couldn't find it. I, I was driving. I drove for a minute, steady, cutting corners, driving around, looking looking for the hospital. I even pulled over. Uh, some people jogging. I was like, hey, do you know where Methodist Hospital is at? They said no. And I was like, okay. So I drove around, drove around. I was like, man, I know it was somewhere over here. I know. I just, I just came. I was just here yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so I put it on my GPS. The GPS was telling me to hop back on the freeway. And I'm like, no, that's wrong. So finally, I was just like, man, I drove for a minute to where I, I ran, I ran my gas down, and I was like, man, I was like, down the gas. Okay, now that's a, a, I, don't, I don't think I think you're giving us a good description, and maybe a little bit detailed as to how you got there. Let's talk about so you were, you had some problems getting over there just as far as being turned around and lost for a little while. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and where did the beer come from that you ended up walking into the hospital? Uh, I pulled into the, I, like I said, I needed gas, so I pulled into the Seven Eleven. Uh, I walked inside the store, and I was like, man, I'm just finna head home. I can't find the hospital, I'm about to head home. So I bought me a steel reserve. Uh, I walked to the counter. Uh, it was due behind the counter. I paid for it. And I asked him, I was like, hey, do you know where Methodist Hospital is at? He said no. The lady that was working with him, she was like, I don't know either, but I think it's on Colorado. And I was like, yeah, I just, I can't find it. She's like, I really don't know where it's at. I was like, okay. So I walked out. I start. I proceeded to pump gas. A dude walks up behind me. He a dude walks up behind me and he's like, "Hey, uh, Methodist Hospital's five minutes away from me." And I was like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah, it's it's five. If you just drive down here, you make a right. You know, it's it's right there." And I was like, "Okay, man, appreciate it. Thank you, man." So I hopped in the truck and I drove and I and I, I arrived at the hospital. So when you get to the hospital that morning, do you, do you do you know what time it was? No, I I, I really don't. I, I I didn't pay attention to the time. So you get to the hospital, and you're telling the uh, uh, jury that w when you get there, you thought you were getting there to go over and sign the birth certificate. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, were you in a good mood, or were you in a bad mood? What kind of mood were you, what kind of mood were you in at that time? No, I was, I was good. I was good. I wasn't, I mean, I, I, don't know, I just I was about to sign the birth certificate, put that last name on it. I was, okay. And uh, tell the jury what happened once you got inside that room. Uh, okay, well, I walked in. Uh, my son, he was asleep in a, a bassinet. Uh, I went in there, I just, you know, rubbed his belly. I was like, hey, little man. And, you know, and so I went and I walked into the restroom. I used the restroom. I walked out. I proceeded to walk out. I started looking for the gun, right? I started looking for the gun. She's like, what you looking for? And I said, the gun. And she was like, why? And I said, I got it sold. I said, I talked to the dude last night. He, you know, he wants to buy it. And so she's like, all right. So I'm on my phone also, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like she said, uh, uh, I, I, she said sentimental. I, I, I don't want to sound sentimental. I'm more uh, expressionate or something. You know, I like telling people that, you know, you know, I, I love them and stuff. And I'll drink a little bit or do some drugs. I'm like, hey, man, I, you know, I love you, man. You know, I'm glad you're in my life type of thing. I'm, you know, you got the aggressive people, and then you got the, the lovers, I guess, uh, or whatever. You know, <clears throat> and so, uh, so when you're sitting there having this conversation, can you tell the jury what it was that made her start pulling the blanket over your head and she refused to talk to you? Uh, I don't recall her pulling the blanket over her head. You don't recall her pulling the blanket over her head? No, what, I what don't. What do you recall happening uh, when you were having this conversation with her? <clears throat> uh, I ended up uh, sitting down and I was like, man, get the gun and stuff. And so I was like, so I'm about to sign this birth certificate and leave. And so uh, I'm texting uh, my brother. Uh, my brother called me. I talked to him briefly. My nieces and stuff. Um, <sighs> well, uh, we started. Uh, we started talking. She trying to talk to me. I was like, "Shut the fuck up! Don't talk to me." You know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. And she's like, oh, oh no, she started, uh, she's like, man, you're drinking, and woo, 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 and I was like, man, I was like, I don't want to hear it, man, I was like, I'm not, I ain't been drinking like that. And she's like, no, you're drinking, woo, woo, and I was like, man, shut up, I was like, don't even talk to me, man. She was like, no, nah, you're not supposed to be in here drinking, woo, woo, I was like, don't nobody even know this is a, this is a beer, and I was like, it looks like a Arizona or something. And she was like, she's like, nah, man, she's like, man, they're going to come in here and see and whatever. 
And so I was like, man, I was like, bro, I don't even talk to me, bro. I said, yeah, you really nasty. And she was like, what you mean nasty? I said, yeah, you really nasty, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, well, and I said, man, I said, man, my, 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 my shit hurt, bro. I'm just signing the birth certificate, and I'm finna leave. I said, man, nigga, my, my, yeah, I'm, I'm burning. Your voice is dropping, we'll just keep it up so the jury can hear it. It's, it's, <laughs> It's, I'm like, man, it's, you know, my private area is, is, is really, it's really fucked up. And so, um, she's like, uh, she's like, man, she's like, nah, man, she's like, I ain't fucking nobody and da, da, da. And so, um, she gets on her phone, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, you need to tell whoever you've been fucking with that you got that shit, you passing out that shit. And she was. What are you talking about? Uh. I, I never had an STD before, uh, before that. So I mean, I, I knew it was something wrong. I didn't know exactly what it was, well, but it was uh, when I when I urinate, <clears throat> when I urinate, it it, it, it hurts. Yeah. And so y'all start. You, so you're talking about her messing with somebody else, telling her that she needs to tell people that she's probably giving them STDs too. Yeah, I'm like you, cause she ended up getting on the phone. I was like, you need to be. Calling them people and let them know you passing out that shit. Oh, yeah. And what, ha- what what happened as a result of this conversation? <clears throat> you say what happened to the result? Yeah, ha- tell me what happened next after y'all are having this conversation. Uh, oh, the the nurse, uh, she walks in, so she walks in, and uh, uh, Selena she she gets up and she's like, hey, I need to use the restroom. So when she gets up, I get with her, I get up with her. No, sir. Okay. So the, when you're talking about right now, you're talking about a nurse came in, and that's when Selena's going to go to the restroom. Are you talking about the uh, uh, the woman that ends up getting shot? Yes, sir. Okay. So you guys are having this conversation. It's going on. Up to that point in time, have you ever threatened that you were going to kill Selena or kill yourself? No, sir. No. No, sir. Did you ever threaten Selena that you were going to kill anybody coming in the room? No. So did you have any intention of harming anybody? No, I didn't. Okay. Tell the jury what happened. You just described how you got to the point where the nurse came in the room. Selena wants to go to the restroom. Tell the jury what happened next. Well, she gets up and I get up with her, and she's walking. No, the, when the nurse came in, she said, you know, good good afternoon or good evening, and I said it back. And Selena gets up and she's like, I need the restroom. She had uh, told the nurse, I need the restroom, but I got up with her, and so I was like, why you need to go to the restroom with your phone? And she's like, she's like, because she, uh, and then, then the nurse asked, uh, is everything okay? And I was like, yeah, everything's okay. And then she said, no, it's not. She's like, I don't want him here. This ain't even his baby. So I slapped her. So when I slapped her, uh, the nurse was like, oh. And so then Selena hit me and we got into like, uh, whenever I got up, I had the pistol on me too. You know what I'm saying? I had it, I had, she ended up before that, well, Selena had handed me, handed me the pistol. And so I had the pistol right here. It's a little pistol. So I, when I got up, I got up holding it too. And um, she hit me. And so, you know, I kind of like, you know, I had the pistol in my hand. I don't think the nurse knew I had the pistol in my hand. And so we got into like a little a little brawl or whatever. And that's when I, you know, I hit her. I ended up hitting her with the pistol. And that's when the nurse, the nurse, she was like, stop. She got in between us. And uh, the my shirt, that shirt, the black shirt that I had on, it was already kind of like over me. It was already like, cause she was like putting on the shirt too, and so the gun went off. That's what. That's what. And who was pulling on your shirt? Uh, Selena. So you're wearing a shirt, and while y'all, you guys get into a tussle with the nurse there, she's pulling on your shirt. You saying it's kind of bunched up now around your shoulder area? Yeah, the the shirt she was putting on, I had a black thermal shirt on. And then you said the gun went off. Describe exactly what you mean when you say the gun went off. Uh, she, uh, the nurse tried to stop the fight. She got in between us and uh, she yelled, "Stop!" She's like, "Stop!" And they said, "You know, the, the gun went off." And uh, we stopped. Everything slowed down. You know, I was I was kind of confused for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And the first thing that Selena said, she was like, "What did you do?" You know? And I was like, "No, man, it's your fault. This is your fault." You know? Because like, the nurse she was kind of like leaning forward, and then she ended up falling back. You know? No, 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 no. Okay, how did she tell? Explain to the jury how it was that this nurse ended up shot. Uh, 
she got in between us. She got in between. Whenever me, me and Selena got into it, like a tussle and got into it, uh, she got in between us. She tried, she yelled stop and tried to stop us. Did you point the gun at her with any intention of shooting the gun and killing her? No, sir. Did you have any intention of causing harm to this girl? No, sir. And you said that once you shot her, she was just kind of in a, you said she was kind of standing there and you looked like she was crouching a little bit. What are you trying to describe her? She like like lean, she like leaned forward like this, like she leaned forward like this, and then she she leaned and like it, it all happened so slow. It went, it went real slow, and she just ended up falling back. <clears throat> she, she was leaning forward and then she ended up falling back. Yes, sir. Okay. What's the next thing that you just saw happen at that point? I uh, I panicked. <laughs> I, I panicked. I was like shit 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 shit. And Selena, she started screaming. She was like, oh, man, I couldn't even understand what she was saying. <sighs> and I opened up the door, and uh, I shot. I opened up the door, like, with my right hand, I opened up the door, and I shot out the door. Boom, boom, twice. I shot the door twice. Did you see anybody outside the door when you shot? No, I didn't even look outside. I just shot. What was the purpose of that? I, w I was so panicked. I was, I was, I just shot somebody. You know what I mean? I was just, I, I was real panicked. It was like a, uh, how can I say this? Like an example would be like, a, like if, like if my mom or like somebody's mom has like a, a favorite coffee mug that she drinks coffee with every morning, and you drop it and you break it, and when you broke it, you 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 panic. You're like, oh, and your mom's like, hey, what was that? And so you don't want her to see. You know what I mean? Like you don't want, you don't want her to see. You just. I panic and I, I try to like, I guess make another distraction or, or something. I, I wasn't just really just, I wasn't thinking right. Like you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't. But after you fired that, after you opened the door and fired the gun, uh, did you actually see the uh, second nurse in the hallway at that time? No, I didn't even see the second nurse in the hall, in the hallway. Tell the jury what happened after you shot that car off at the door. <clears throat> Uh, so I went back, and uh, the nurse laying on the floor. Selena, so she's screaming. She's like, "Oh my gosh!" Da, da. And so it's it's all hectic. I'm I'm kind of panicking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm like, shit, shit, shit. And so I, Selena, she said, "Get help!" And so I turn around. I, when I turn around, I, I walked out the door. I tried to walk out the door. I I felt the heat just through my leg. Boom. And I. Step back. I jumped back into. I jumped back into the room, and I looked down, and I was like, "They shot me." I was like, "Damn, they shot me." You know what I'm saying? And so I went back. I went back into the room, and uh, I called my mom. I called her mom, and she answered the phone. And she was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Hey, man." I was like, "Man, I, I, I just shot somebody, man. I, I just, I, I just killed somebody, man. She's laying on the floor." And she, my mom, she's like, "What?" What? And then she's like, tell me you're playing. I was like, no, I'm not. And so I hung with the phone. I hung with the phone. I called my little brother. I called my little brother. And he's like, hey. And I was like, hey, man, I'm shot. I'm shot. And he's like, what? And I was like, man, I'm shot. They're about to come in here and shoot. They're about to kill me, man. And he's like, what? He's like, I, I don't understand. He's like, hey. And I was like, man, they're, they're going to kill me, man. I was like, they're going to kill me. They already shot me. <clears throat> and so, uh, uh, by now, Selena has the baby. She had grabbed the baby at, at this time. And she's she's holding the baby, and I'm like, hey, give me the baby, give me the baby. And she was like, no, no. And I'm like, give me the baby, man. I was like, man, give me the baby, man. Give me the baby. Put him in the crib, because the crib, the bassinet, is by the restroom. And so I'm thinking, I was like, man, look, they're about to come in here and start shooting, man. They're about to shoot us. And she's like, she's like, no, no, no. I wanted to put him in the bassinet and put him by the restroom, cause. I was like, man, they, they about to come in. They already shot me. They about to come in and start shooting. What happened at that point in time? Uh, I, f I started feeling the pain. At first, I didn't feel the pain, but now I'm feeling it. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. And so I went around the bed. I don't know if I if I sat down in the closet or I sat down in front of the closet. And uh, I was like, shit. And uh, Selena's like, she's steady screaming. She's steady screaming. And... Uh, She's like, ah, what the fuck, what the fuck, it's the lady, she right there. I was like, man, I was like, man, I was like, man, shut up. I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up. 
<clears throat> so I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm standing there, and I'm like, man. I said, man, I'm about to just go out there. I'm going to just let them kill me, man. I said, all right. And she was like, what? I, said, I was like, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And she, I was like, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life in jail. And she's like, uh, she was like, what? What? And I said, man, I'm going to just let them kill me, man. I'm going to just let them kill me. They already shot me. And uh, she started screaming. She, she screamed my name. She said, that's her. And then she held up my son, and she was like, he needs you. And I was like, man, shit, man. I was like, man, I was like, nah, man. I was like, oh, I can't go back. I can't go back, man. And so I tried to get up. And so when I tried to get up, uh, I hear, oh, no, before that, I hear the officer. He, he said something. I couldn't understand what he said. And I was like, I can't hear you because she's screaming. Oh, my little brother was still on the phone. And he's like, Nestor, Nestor, Nestor. He's like, Nestor, Nestor, hey, man, don't hurt the baby, don't hurt the baby. And I was like, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. And uh, so I'm like, man, I'm like, man, I'm finna just go out there, I'm finna let kill me. So uh, uh, Selena, she was like, she was like, no, no. And so when uh, she said no, uh, I tried to get up. And when, when I tried to get up, it, it, too, it was kind of hard to get up, so I'm, I'm trying to get up. And uh, I was like, I'm shot. And she didn't know I was shot at the time, but now she knew then because she put my baby down. She's like, you're shot. And I was like, I'm shot, man, I'm already shot. And so I was like, man, I'm finna just go out there, man. I was like, man, because in my mind, I thought it was like 15 cops out there and ready. To, they, the cops in there, they gonna kill you. And so, Where was the gun at this point in time, Russell? Uh, I still had it in my hand. Uh, I, she was telling me not to go out there. She's like, no, she's like, don't go out there. She's like, man, she, I was like, my finger, she's like, why are you going to do this? Why are you going to do this? And I'm like, man, I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to go back to jail, bro. I ain't trying to go back to prison. I already spent most of my youth in there. And, uh, she's like, man, he needs you, he needs you. And so, uh, uh, she's like, he needs you, he needs you. And I was like, all right, man, all right. And, uh. After that, I, I fell. I, I, that's from what I remember, I fell, and that was it. I blanked out. The rest of the stuff that on the video, me being in the hallway, and, you know, I didn't even know I had said she cheated, you know what I mean? Uh, I also said, uh, I, uh, I, saw, I heard myself say, uh, call my mom, and uh, I screamed out my brother's name, too, on the video. Um, but other than that, I don't remember nothing else. I don't remember nothing else. I woke up at Baylor Hospital, like, two days later, and that's when I learned that uh, Miss Flowers was also, I didn't even know she was dead. Did you, okay, uh, you said that you woke up in the hospital and you found out at that point in time that, that two people had, had, had died as a result of this incident, is that correct? Yes, sir. And, and one of those being Miss Jacqueline Sakura had come into the room originally, uh, as well as Katie Flowers, who was the uh, nurse that was injured when you discharged that weapon out into the hallway. Do you understand that now? Yes, sir. Excuse me? You, uh, that, that, that reminded you or that brought back to life some of the things that had occurred. Oh, uh, on, on the, on the yes. video? Yeah, yes, sir, yes. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, you, you talked about it, and again, Mr., uh, what you told the jury is you did not intentionally and knowingly kill these ladies, did you? No, no, I would never do that. Yes, sir. Can you tell them why it is that you believe that your testimony today is worthy of belief? Uh, because it's the truth, you know. Uh, it's just what happened. And, uh, I'm not going to sit here and hide and, and try to say that I'm innocent, you know what I'm saying, because we're not. Um, but you understand, that, and we've explained to you, there's a difference between shooting and killing somebody and knowing they're intentionally or have causing their death by your reckless action. You understand that? Yes, sir. I, yeah, I, I never intended. I never intended to kill nobody, hurt nobody. Uh, no, I didn't. But you do take full responsibility for causing their death. Yes, uh, I do. I do take responsibility. I, I'm not here to fight for my innocence. You woke up in the hospital two days later. Can you tell the jury how long you were in the hospital? Um, I, 
I want to say I was in the hospital like four days. About four days in the hospital. And just with that, you were taken in custody of Dallas County Sheriff's Department. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. I know, I know I caught somebody. Uh, I know you caught somebody, but I said, when you were describing for, for the jury earlier, you said, well, I, I called him, not texted him, talking about your brother. So, do okay. you, you recall specifically everything that was said or done? Do you re specifically recall, or can you even possibly recall whether those were actually texts or phone calls that you were having? Uh, not, not all of them, not all of them. Uh, some of them, I, I know it was messages and calls, you know. It was messages and calls. Mr. I believe that's all the questions I have for you, sir. Could we take witness at this time? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez, let's go back and first of all talk about your criminal history because you left out some of it. Isn't that right? Uh, I guess so, yes, sir. Okay. You talked about how you were convicted of robbery in 2012 and you were sentenced to two years in city city, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you were also convicted on that same day for burglary and habitation. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. Okay, you were also convicted of unlawful possession of a firearm on that, on that same day, correct? Yes, sir. And you were also convicted of possession of heroin on that same day, correct? Yes, sir. And so all of those offenses were part of that CPC that you did back in 2012, isn't that correct? Yes, sir. Did you forget about those? No, but on the indictment, when it shows the enhancements, it's, it says robbery on there. That's the main enhancement that they use to enhance an indictment. So it's robbery. That's the main thing that stands out on the indictment. Oh, okay. I'm talking about the other offenses. I understand about the robbery. What about the, bur the burglary, the possession of the firearm, and the heroin? You forgot to mention those as far as your convictions? Uh, no, I didn't forget to mention them, but that's just, that's the main, that was the, the, the robbery, it, it, it outrules the rest of the charges, basically. From my understanding. Okay. But you admit that you were convicted of all those offenses in 2012, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so fast forward to 2015, you mentioned that you were convicted of aggravated robbery and sentenced to the eight-year term, correct? Yes, sir. But you were also convicted uh, around that time for another burglary of habitation, correct? Yes, sir. Um, as well as a theft, is that correct? Uh, theft by check, yes. Okay. All right, and so... <coughs> Yes, sir. Uh, you had several violations of your parole while you were on parole, isn't that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 